Hello everyone, my name is Gabriel Miller. Welcome to Gabriel's online class. Today we're going to be taking Chem 101 Past Questions and Answers Review Part 1. We're going to be taking some questions, about 10 questions. This is the first review I'm doing. I'm going to be doing more and more reviews like this. Compounds with hydrogen ion generating capacity are classified as acid according to the answer is Arrhenius acid base theory. What you need to know is that Arrhenius theory acid generates hydrogen ion, bases accept hydrogen ion. Brosted Lowry theory acid donates protons, bases accept protons. Lewis theory acid accepts electrons and bases donate electrons. Those are the things I want you to know quickly. If we move to number two, number two compounds that are neither acidic or basic are called answer is neutral compounds. Compounds that re can react as acid or bases are amphoteric compounds. Compounds that can act as both acid or bases are called amphoteric compounds. Number three, the discharge tube experiment led to the discovery of dash. Okay, the answer is electrons and protons. Number four, Write the quantum numbers for the con configuration 4D1. The answer is N is equal to 4, L equals to 2, ML is equal to minus 2, and MS is equal to half plus half. So we know that N is definitely going to be 4, and for L, SPDF, remember that arrangement 0, 1, 2, 3. The D orbital is 2, and therefore the azimuth azimuthal quantum number is 2. D block contains 5 orbitals, and so if we count backwards 2, 0, 1, minus 1, minus 2, then since it's 4D1, meaning it's carrying only one electron. So we put in an up arrow, only one up arrow, since it's only one electron on minus two. Then, as you can see now, it's only an up arrow that is there. We can't put another arrow because it's only one electron. And therefore, since it's only up arrow that and the orbitals, then it's a plus half. Assuming there was a down arrow too, it would have been minus half. But it's only one electron, therefore only one up arrow. So it is plus half. So MS is plus half. So number five. Each of the following processes will result in a precipitation reaction. A mixing a NO3 solution with a copper sulfate solution. B mixing NH4 NO3 solution with a sodium hydrogen solution. C mixing a sodium sulfate solution with a zinc chloride solution. Mixing the NH4 to CO3 solution with a sodium chloride solution. The answer is C mixing sodium sulfate solution with so zinc chloride solution the reason why is that sodium sulfide and zinc chloride will mix to give an insoluble white precipitate called zinc sulfide which finally settles down after a while so anytime you see zinc 
reacting with any kind of sulfide solution we assume that that is going to lead to a precipitation reaction number six dash proposed the wave particle duality of an electron answer the answer is Lewis de Broglie Lewis de Broglie proposed that electrons also had wave properties like wavelength and frequency so let's go to number seven number seven the molecular formula of a compound shows the answer is the ratio of the number of each kind of atom in a molecule that's what the molecular formula of a compound shows number eight show the hybridization in the diagram as you can see this diagram one of the carbon is labeled as one another one two three four so the answer is going to be the first carbon c1 is sp c2 is sp and c3 sp2 and c4 is sp3 and there are some quick things i want you to know about hybridization if carbon is bonding to two elements it is sp ignoring the kind of bonds that is even if there's a triple bond there if carbon is bonded to two elements it is sp if it is bonding to three elements use sp2 if it is bonding to four elements use sp3 number nine what hybridization change does the carbon atom undergo in the combustion of methane so the answer is sp3 to sp sp3 to sp now the reason is in methane carbon is bonding to four hydrogen atoms ch4 so it will definitely be sp3 and in carbon dioxide carbon is bonding with only two hydrogen atoms which is sp so let's go to number 10 neutrons were discovered by dash the answer is james chadwick let me quick give you some quick explanation on electrons and protons neutrons and charges of electron and protons electrons and protons were discovered by jj thompson neutrons were discovered by james chadwick and the charge of an electron and proton were discovered by Rubens a millikan in an oil drop experiment so i believe that this review on some of the past questions has helped you i'm still gonna do another video on this past questions review so keep watching our videos like and share this video click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell for new uploads i'll see you in the next video thank you for watching